In this lesson, we're going to talk about freezing sublevels. This is something you can do whenever you want to convert a mesh with more than a few subdivision levels into a DynaMesh. You'll get this little message that says, hey, we want to freeze your high resolution detail when going into DynaMesh mode. Is that okay? You can either say yes or no. If you say yes, it'll freeze your levels and you can make alterations to your mesh. If you do, and you unfreeze those sublevels, it's going to try to reproject that detail onto your new mesh, barring any of the changes you made. And while this is kind of cool, keep in mind that it's not always 100% accurate. So, say for instance I had six subdivision levels here, turn it into a Dyna mesh by freezing the levels, then unfroze them, it just recreated the sub D levels up to that actual resolution, which basically means if I had six, it could knock it down to three or even two subdivision levels. So what happens if you say no to freezing your sub levels when converting to a Dyna mesh? Well, it just basically erases them, and you get a Dyna mesh based on your resolution. So as you can see, we lost a lot of detail on this thing. Not so much on the back, but on the front we lost quite a bit. In fact, if I zoom in a little bit, control Z, turn it back into a subdivided mesh, you can see the detail that was on it. If you want to retain more detail, just raise your resolution to like 256 or maybe 512, and then press DynaMesh. Don't keep your sublevels. And as you can see, we lost a little bit of detail going into a 512, but not very much at all. So, moral of the story is whenever you convert a mesh into a DynaMesh, you lose the original. So always keep that in mind.